Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here at the Fast Lane Car and Motor Mountain USA, and I am in the absolutely lush, green, beautiful state of Vermont. Right behind me, just up there, over that hill, is Mount Mansfield, which is the highest mountain, the highest elevation right here in Vermont. And coming up next, we're going to have a little bit of an adventure trying to get to it. Oh yeah, yay cryptic. <laughs> I've never been to Vermont before. Neither of us. It's actually my very first time in this state. I'm really excited for Mount Mansfield, right? The highest point in Vermont. It's a really cool drive up there. From what we saw, you you go through this toll area and then you go into a dirt road that takes you up the hill. Supposedly, it is some of the most amazing views and vistas in this entire area. So yeah, obviously we're looking forward to it. And so far the drive up there has been lush and green. And we've seen some old colonial houses and some, you just feel the history here. It's interesting. It's really great. Right now we're at about 1600 feet and Mount Mansfield is about like 43, almost 4300 feet. So far this has been a relatively easy trip. Now, I'm sure some of you know that one of the ways we're able to do Motor Mountain USA is by cramming together as much as we can in a very short amount of time. It's partially because otherwise this would take us months to do each loop. So yeah. this one, we just left a mountain and we're on our way to this mountain. So yes. it is towards the other side of the day. But as far as I know, so far scheduling wise, everything's been working out just right. Yeah. The Jeep Wrangler does not like, it, it doesn't enjoy being hustled so to speak, but you know, for a Jeep product, it does okay. At the Mansfield, Mount Mansfield, the highest mountain in Vermont? Yes? Is that gate closed? Wait, what? Is the gate that's that's a closed gate. What, dude? The park closes at four, and the gate closes at five. Are you serious? I can see the I can see the peak. Yeah, I can right, see right the right peak there. too. Oh, what's our what, what's our right. what's our elevation? Where am I now? Thirteen hundred plus, a little bit. Okay. That's we need to be at forty three hundred feet. Um, yeah. Unless we ram the gate, we're not getting up to 4,300 feet. It's closed. We... I didn't we even think We did that not count on this. I did not... Sorry, Nathan. Right. Um... Oops. Alright. So, you know what? You know that spot with the boulders? Mm -hmm. That was higher than this. Let's go over there. That'll be the highest. That, that was 2,000 feet. Because you have to pay to actually get to the highest point Yes. There. And that's it's not actually not very, uh, you know, 19 bucks. Yeah, it's pricey. At least. Andre, we blew it. Ah! Okay, so this is, this is what happened. We researched the distance, we researched the location, the elevation, everything. We even knew it was a toll road, but what we didn't know was that they close at 5 and we're here at about 6. Unfortunately, because the way Motor Mountain USA works, we are in such a tight schedule that we can't come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we have to be about 600 miles in the opposite direction. So I guess what that means is, well, look at it this way. This is the highest drivable point at 1,331 feet, give or take. So what we could do is say, it's the highest drivable point you can get without having to pay because you have to actually pay to go up to the top of Mount Mansfield. So. What we're going to do is we're going to find a new location for the belt buckle and please forgive us this is a definitely a misadventure we screwed up okay guys so we chose a hiding spot that's a few miles away from mount mansfield but it is i'll give you a hint in a parking area and here it is Vermont. 
that pretty? All right, and there's a t-shirt in here too, by the way. All right, follow me. Ta-da! Guys, I gotta apologize. This is not what we wanted, obviously. We didn't want to be here at this time. We wanted to be up there, which is where Mount Mansfield is. But we are at one of the highest drivable points you can get to without having to pay. And that's how we're gonna end this video. Now, there are some amazing things about Vermont. I've never been here. In fact, out of all the states so far in Motor Mountain USA, Andre and I have never been to this state. And, you know, what a beautiful, lush, green state. It's an amazing place and I really wish we could spend more time here. But see, that's the thing about Motor Mountain USA. We have to get to the next spot or else we get completely behind and we'll never catch up. It's the only way we've made this thing work. For the Fast Lane Car and for Motor Mountain USA, this is Nathan Adler. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real world reviews. But more importantly, go to TFL Car for Motor Mountain Monday. Every Monday, a new state. We're coming back to this one one day, I promise. I, I, I haven't been very good at this. Andre messed me up last time, so this time, I try to do it right. Try to get level. <sighs> Vermont's done, but it really isn't. It's kind of a bittersweet one. I really wish we could have made it to the top, but folks, mark my words. We'll try not to make the same mistake twice, or three times. Thank you.